Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, there was an emperor who loved fine clothes more than anything else in the world. He loved to wear beautiful, luxurious robes and dresses, and he spent all of his money on the finest materials and the most skilled tailors. One day, two swindlers came to the kingdom and claimed that they were the finest weavers in all the land. They promised the emperor that they could make him the most magnificent set of clothes he had ever seen, using a special fabric that was so fine and delicate that it was invisible to anyone who was stupid or unworthy. The emperor was very excited by this prospect, and he immediately ordered the weavers to begin work on his new clothes. The weavers set up a loom and pretended to work on the fabric, but in reality, they were not weaving anything at all. They just pretended to be working, while they collected money and fine materials from the emperor. As the weeks went by, the weavers kept telling the emperor that his new clothes were almost ready, and they promised to have them finished soon. They told him that the fabric was so fine and delicate that it was almost transparent, and that it would be the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. Finally, the weavers declared that the clothes were finished, and they invited the emperor to come and see them for himself. The emperor was very excited to see his new clothes, and he went to the weaver's workshop with all of his courtiers. When he arrived, the weavers held up a bolt of empty air and told the emperor to put on his new clothes. The emperor, who was determined to show that he was not stupid or unworthy, obediently put on the clothes that the weavers had made for him. The weavers then held up a mirror and told the emperor to look at himself. The emperor saw nothing in the mirror, but he did not want to admit that he could not see the clothes, so he pretended to admire them and told the weavers that they were the most beautiful things he had ever seen. The courtiers, who also did not want to seem stupid or unworthy, all agreed that the clothes were beautiful and congratulated the emperor on his fine new wardrobe. The emperor then paraded through the streets of the kingdom, wearing his invisible clothes and pretending to be proud of them. As he walked, a small child in the crowd shouted out, But the emperor has no clothes. The people, who had been afraid to speak up before, all suddenly realized that the emperor was actually naked, and they began to laugh and point at him. The emperor, embarrassed and humiliated, ran back to his palace and locked himself in his room. From that day on, the emperor learned that it is better to be honest and admit when you do not know something, rather than pretending to be something you are not. And the people of the kingdom learned that it is important to speak up and tell the truth, even if it is difficult or unpopular.